hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you all my flip through for the month of april as well as the setup that i did for may um, i apologize for this video being late but i had issues going on at the first of the month um and if you guys stick around to watch my cash envelope stuffing video that I'll have coming out around the 15th, I'll explain it all then. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now, another reason why this was kind of delayed is because I didn't know if I wanted to show April because I'm doing like this um, kind of a bullet journal comic um, in my bullet journal. And I, I just wasn't sure how I felt about showing it, but I figured I'm going to show it anyway. It's just a little bullet journal story, but yeah. So this was the beginning of it. Um, basically, it's my character feeling bored and irritated, and she decides that she's going to go outside, but it starts raining. But she goes outside anyways to dance in the rain. And this is the beginning of April and then this is my monthly calendar also something I'll note because this page made me remember um, I have not had any issues since I used that Liquitex matte gel to bind my book back together I haven't had any issues with it even trying to come apart so I like that um, this is how this is how my mood tracker turned out for the month. I was good for the most part until the very last day. And this was my water tracker. I love, I love this idea. I love the way it turned out. And it really gives me a nice overview of how much water I drink throughout the month. So, you know, I tend to get somewhere between five to eight cups a day, which is good. Um, this was my budget check-in. Um, and then this was my one line a day that I really did enjoy and I carried it over for the next month. Um, this was my business ideas and this actually kind of did work but it just wasn't enough space but this book doesn't have that many pages so I had an um, and I don't have it with me but I have a extra one of these books because they were both on sale so I use that book more for like my business planning so you probably won't see I don't think I have any business spreads in my next month um, and my YouTube ideas this was my first week how that turned out um, and I was trying to do dailies I was trying to figure out my way around the bullet journal world and some sticker ideas I had and more dailies and more dailies and journaling um, more journaling and I tried to do like this <laughs> this ombre font using the Tombow dual brush markers and this I, I guess the way I did it this way it bled through so much through the backside and onto the very next page so I had to figure out a way to cover that and so I drew Rafiki with one of his famous quotes saying to look beyond what you see because the mistakes like behind this watercolor thing, it was just a terrible, terrible mess. So I just drew Rafiki to cover it up. And then the very next page was the second comic, which is basically uh, my character she spots something under a newspaper shivering in the rain and she goes to uncover it and reveals a frightened notebook and she says hey are you okay and he looks up and he glares at her and he screams to leave me alone and he grabs the newspaper and he snatches it and he covers himself and that's the end of part two <laughs> and then i have my this week spread i believe this was the second week um, that's when I started incorporating the hourly trackers, which I really do enjoy, and also the weather trackers that I also really like doing too. And I love how I did this as well. And so I did more dailies. I think this week I started realizing that I didn't have to use so many sheets for my dailies. 
um, but we'll get into that later. More journaling and a password section and a puppy list because I was feeling like getting a puppy again, but I resisted again. <laughs> um, some business stuff and some more dailies. Uh, part three. See, I that that's the only reason I showed you guys the first one because I've really been consistent with this. I didn't think I was going to be consistent, but I just really like uh, drawing to it. So basically she introduces herself as Miss Crazy and before she can even ask what his name is he tells her to get lost and he says wouldn't you rather be cuddled up with your phone or glued to your computer or asleep drooling in front of a television set? It's okay. I get it. Nobody's got time for books anymore and he scoots away from a forming puddle so just leave me and my warping pages in peace. Thank y'all. And then he covers himself again. And that's the end of part three. As we go into week three, this was the setup that I didn't film, but I figured it wasn't an issue anyway since you saw the exact same setup for my fourth week. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is what I meant by stop using the dailies. So I just took like two pages and put my entire week on it. So that worked out pretty well. And then we go into the fourth comic. Uh, basically, she's just standing there looking at him. Then she grabs his hand and he's like, hey! And she puts him in the uh, pocket of her hoodie and she covers him with her hoodie. And meanwhile, while she's doing that, his eyes is welling up with tears. So she says, are you all right? And he looks, stops and he looks at her and he says, yes, I'm all right. Thank you. And we go into the fourth week, which is pretty much the spread that you all saw me do. The exact same thing. And I also did the uh, weekly dailies this way as well. This was washi that I got from Michaels. Michaels was having a, a sale or clearance or something where you can get three rolls of washi for a dollar. I think I got like four dollars worth. <laughs> so then we have... This is the beginning comic for May. I didn't color it in, but basically my character and the notebook, they're running through the rain, and then the notebook says there, and they run through the door, and the door takes them to this mysterious area in the open sky, and they fall, and they're screaming, and they're freaking out because they land on the back of a hummingbird, and the hummingbird flies up, unintentionally throwing them from his back, and they begin to fall again, and they fall, <clears throat> and they keep falling until they land in the center of a gigantic daisy. And when they get enough time to recollect themselves, then Miss Crazy says, yeah, we are definitely not in Kansas anymore. And she would be right, because we're not in Kansas. We're in May of 20 2018. So, for m the month of May, I decided to go with the hummingbird and hydrangea theme now for may if this looks over decorated and over saturated with drawings um par partially this was due because of all the stress i was going through for the past couple of days you know to try to um, distract myself from what was happening i was just drawing a lot so that <laughs> may is going to look like a very colorful very detailed month but i thoroughly enjoyed this I did this painting using the White Knight's watercolor paint, which should be posted before this video goes up. And I also used like the Prismacolor coloring pencils to like shade in the background. But I, I love this and yeah. So for this month, I did a much more simpler calendar um, because I didn't use my full calendar the last month and I wanted to kind of keep it simple in the safe space where I could so I just did a simple calendar that says hello May um, the small calendar written out and I posted these pictures on some sticker paper and just stuck them into my journal um, this sheet I actually because my business journal is basically another Lamon but it has perforated pages so I just kind of ripped those out and did like a little watercolor scene on these pages and then I just inserted them in with some washi so this is my goals for the month and this will be my review after the month is done all of this uh, sorry 
All of the gold accents were done with the Sakura Jelly Roll pens. They are actually really smooth. I love those pens. Um, and I'll have a link for all these products that I'm mentioning. This was my this month page and I drew another hummingbird as if he was just like carrying some paper off into the wind. <laughs> then I did um, a mood tracker and my water tracker. This is what I meant by detail. <laughs> um, I decided like if you've ever seen a hummingbird or pictures of hummingbirds up close they have scales on their heads and they're very colorful and beautiful. But I decided to try to um, do that here and the scales on its neck I was just going to, um, originally I was just going to fill it in with one color but I decided to see like how my mood is throughout the day so I just decided to like color in a section you know at different times in the day whenever I get the chance and just fill it up throughout the day so obviously for the most part for the first couple of days I've been absolutely furious and kind of happy and a lot of neutral and some anxious so for the most part <laughs> kind of been everywhere this is my water tracker I just did water tracker in bubble letters and uh, drew 31 flowers to represent each day obviously I have my color key here for cups from one cup through eight cups yep. uh, this was this is another favorite spread this is a two lines a day spread uh, to bump it up from the one line a day um, I saw somebody else do this and I can't remember who it is but they had like a silhouette bird theme and they did like this little mandala theme or something inside the bird with a gold metallic pen so I wanted to try that with some hummingbird silhouettes and I really I really loved how that turned out and this <laughs> this was my first spread of for the week of May and I love this like if I had the time to sit down and do this all the time I probably would but I don't well I won't say it won't be as drawn out and detailed as this but I, I love the way this looked and I love the way this worked I included all of my dailies into one section like this was for my whole entire week and this worked out perfectly so I'm I don't know I might do this again for next week we'll see but for the time being that is it I want to thank you guys for stopping by and going on my journey with me do you guys like the bullet journal comic like I mean I won't read it if you guys don't want me to read it I'll just skip through and you know if you want to pause and try to read it then that's cool but if you like this video leave a thumbs up leave a comment if you like and subscribe if you want to see more and hit the notification bell so you can always stay updated whenever I post a new content. But with that you guys have a great day and thanks for stopping by. Bye!